angels it's look and brats aka dom welcome back to my channel where i cover doll content and a lot of brats content but of course i love dolls generally and if you're new to the channel then welcome i'm glad that you've joined me for this unboxing moment so i am trying to catch up with not only lol surprise products but also rainbow high and shadow high products especially because we know that the fall is coming up and they do have a carousel of products coming out. So I need to play catch up here with the dolls that I need to add to my collection. And so I am now going to finish off series two of Shadow High. Before this, I got Carla, Glitch, and Zoe. And now I finally, I finally have Diamante. I have Rex and I also have Monique. And I'm also continuing my journey of completing series five. It's so like funny to think that there's a series five of Rainbow High. Like it just feels like they just started, but it's been three years now. But I finally have series five, Olivia Woods, and I also got Aiden Russell. And now I'm halfway done with series five. And the last ones I need are Victoria, Michelle, and... Oh, this last name, it's gonna lose me. Victoria, Michelle, and secret sixth character to be revealed. I forget what their name is. Is there a, a sixth character? There has to be, there's a sixth character. Now I can't even think of it. I got Kim and that's all I have. I, now I need Victoria, Michelle, and Oh, oh, the, um, the girl, Priscilla, Priscilla, Priscilla's her name. Yes, the pink one. So anyways, I'm going to do an unboxing. I finally got around to these because I, you know, it's just been hard, like, financially. And, okay. I got a little extra money recently through some freelance work that I did. And I was like, I need, I need to finally, like, play catch up with everything that I'm missing out on. And it's like... I always see my friends like getting all the new releases and I feel like I'm looking from the outside in. I'm like, like I need, I need. So yes, we're catching up here. So I'm starting out with the Diamante and I got these all on sale. So Macy's was having a really nice sale. So these were all discounted to an extent. I do think that, let me clarify, the dolls are definitely worth it. They're worth the 25 to $26 price range that they go for it's just a matter of it's a lot to collect them all and keep buying things especially when I collect other doll lines like I don't just collect these so you know I do try to look for sales in all places that I can but these finally got stocked at the Toys R Us and Macy's stores and I went to a few different ones to pick out some like faces that I really liked because I do notice some walk walks <laughs> I've noticed some wonks with series five specific five yes five <laughs> series five specifically some of them do have some very like wonky faces so i'm trying to get the best ones that i can but shadow high diamante i really love shadow high series ooh, series two so i'm trying to obviously finish them series three recently got shown at like a french toy fair slash event and honestly I think I just need to see better photos of them, but I wasn't really feeling them, which was kind of sad. And as much as I love Shadow High, I do feel like they are starting to fade out just a little bit. Like, I don't know if they'll be going past this year, but I, as much as I want to hold out hope for Shadow High, I don't know. I, I hope they still try to, like, incorporate it into the Rainbow High brand, at least, because I do think they make some really cool, interesting dolls. I love an alternative doll, but here is Diamante looking like that girl from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory <laughs> with her purple, her purple skin. I don't know if you've seen the meme, but it's like, why is she purple? <laughs> but I really love this outfit. Like, it's very detailed. She is Rihanna inspired. Ooh, okay. Get that off. But she has like this mesh top. I love that top. Okay, she's like this mesh purple top with like silver glitter all over it and it matches her leggings. Is this a bodysuit or is this all separate? I can't even tell. 
But this here, it's not just a tank top, it's a bodysuit as well. It's a shadow on it, and it's like the Gucci logo, I believe. And then she has like these holographic shorts. This is so cool. It's like this light purple silver shade, and it has like that iridescence to it, and a little fake stud right there. She has a jacket, and the construction of this is so fun. Like it's so, like it's like a real fashion piece. And then she has real working pockets. And these have studs on them as well. I always like, ah, I always see shadow high, rainbow high quality of clothing. And I'm like, how do they do that for that price point? Because like, I'm sorry, like no other brands are seeing rainbow and shadow high in the quality department. And sure, some of the clothing, like it's not the most, like not everyone's wearing this type of clothing in real life. And a lot of it is like designer pieces that are a little bit more obscure to see in the general public like not like regular streetwear but still like really cool nonetheless and I love seeing dolls that really like go there with fashion like in that regard and it has like a real hood of course I don't think that would ever fit her head because it's huge but it is cute I don't like the tinsel though like this hair is like so messy and I'm honestly after three years on the market I really don't understand why shadow and rainbow high have to have such like crunchy disgusting looking hair out of the box like why can't we ever like just be simple about it but I am going to be ripping out that tinsel and everything once I wash her hair out I will be washing the hair with dish soap and conditioner if anybody is curious and overall her outfit's really cute I love these boots and I love like the fake like bags on them and they do have the shadow with the moon and the stars on it and like real laces I'm really really loving these Overall, a really cool doll, and I've seen a lot of people really enjoy her, so I'm glad. Now I can finally add her to my collection. Let me not throw out the stamp and everything. Is it supposed to be shaped like this? This is such an odd shape. Okay, I don't think he comes with a comb. Does he? It's so funny, Rex comes with a comb, but like why? He doesn't have hair. I don't know, something seems very off about this comb. Like, it looks like it's missing, like, the end pieces. Or maybe this is a new comb. I'm not sure. I've never noticed that before. Maybe I'm just, I just haven't been observant. <laughs> and, not shocking, I really love the box art they do in all of these. Like, all of the different poses. It's just, it's really cool. And so, I believe season four of Rainbow High just started. So, we're getting to see these characters a little bit more because we don't really know them that well we don't know their personalities much Daya is a fashion design major I think almost all of these dolls are fashion design majors because they all play a part in like the the plot line to the new season because it's like the project runaway inspired project rainbow season she comes with these cool makeup brushes They've got like a like a prism like shape to them. She comes with a makeup palette. It's a shadow high on the front. And then it looks like a little like Morphe palette almost. Although I think Morphe's about to go out of business, right? Anyways, there's like this monogram SH coffee cup. I probably shouldn't put that in my mouth. And then she comes with these really cool sunglasses that I do want to use on her. It has the SH mono print, mono print, monogram print on them. And I love the way that they're like tinted i don't know there's something really cool about it but yeah overall like her i like her a lot and i love this makeup i love like the silver eyeshadow it all looks really cool her lips though i feel like her lips could be a lot better i don't like the way that they painted her teeth in and it reminds me of the which one is she the the basketball one I'm like forgetting all their names lately. I'm forgetting every character's name in every brand. There's just so many characters in both OMG and Rainbow High that it's so hard to keep up. Nicole. Nicole, I believe is her name. She had like those lips that look really, really good in like the promotional pictures, like the samples and everything, but the actual produced doll, they kind of like look a little bit off, but she's still a cool doll regardless of that. And yeah, Diamante on to Rex and what I'm looking forward to the most with Rex is that I won't have to do his hair because he doesn't have hair and I feel like that's the thing I dread the most when I open dolls and I've had so many dolls to open lately and this is like my final batch of dolls at the moment until 
I don't know, I'm probably gonna get a package or something soon from MGA for the Bratz dolls, and I'll be like, oh, now I have more dolls to open and to post about. Nothing to, like, really complain about, but it's like, it's a lot, and I'm feeling a little bit burnt out lately. This comb is the same, so maybe it's just something I was not observant to before, but I swear the combs looked a lot different before. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting his stand pieces out first before we get into the doll. Let's get these accessories. I love his laptop. So he has a laptop and it has series one of Shadow High on it. And it looks like they're like logging into something or possibly hacking something. I'm not sure, but it's like silver and then it says Shadow on it and that Supreme like satire parody logo. And then he comes with a cell phone. I kind of wish they all came with cell phones because the cell phones are such a cute accessory. So his cell phone case is black, but then in like a different painting, like in certain lighting, you can see it. It says SH on it in the monogram print. And then on the phone, he's texting Glitch and Glitch says any update. And he says already, let's do this. So it kind of makes me feel like he might have hacked some systems, <laughs> maybe in series, um, in season three, even though he wasn't really featured. And then, okay. <laughs> There's like a fake Gatorade bottle, but I was trying to like read what it says. And I'm like, why did it say Gutterade? What does that mean? Like, is it a laxative? But now it says Glitterade and it's shadow remix flavored. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I love the I love how they're adding more accessories with these dolls because I feel like they were very lacking uh, before that. All right, we have Rex out of the box. I hate the plastic ties. I gotta get them out. All right, here he is. I really love his design. So he has the AirPods very similar to what what's his face? What's his face? The one from series one. And I love that doll, too. He was such a cute doll, the boy doll. Again, I'm forgetting all these names, and I'm, I'm shaking my camera, sorry. But what was his name? You know who I mean, though. You know who I mean, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, but it's just in that black color, and then he has, like, flocked black hair. But then there's, like, a design in it, which I don't... I've never really seen that on a doll before, so that's really, really cool. Like, it looks very, like by like high like high fashion like very cool and it looks kind of like the versace like the versace print if you know what i mean versace sorry and then his jacket i never realized how detailed this was but hold on okay he has like this jacket but then the tails of it are like there's four different tails it's all like studded there's like real metal studs in it and then on the front he has like the zipper and then oh i love this on the sleeve it's that shadow again with the moon and the stars. And then he has a sweater on underneath. It's a hoodie. And it says, I don't sparkle. I just have shade. This doll is shady. It says the SH logo. And then it says anti-sparkle, the shady t-shirt company. And then there's like these fake strings here that would go on a regular hoodie. Although, okay, yeah, this is an actual like hoodie moment. This might actually go over his head. No. Maybe not. Yeah, see their heads are like way too big for these, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, he also has this necklace and it it's like um half chain, half pearls. And then it says S and H, like on the little charms there. And then he has these like um pretty basic pants. They're very nicely made though. And they're like very high waisted. <laughs> like very high waist it's like up to his chest and there's a little stud on it and I do think the pockets are probably real yeah he has real working pockets of course which is not shocking for an MGA doll at this point in time and then I love these boots these are something I would wear in real life and I do have boots very similar to these and they're like these big stompers and they have you know real lacing on them again just always very impressive from rainbow and shadow high but yeah he's cool i like him and i can just put him on the stand and um he'll be display ready because i don't have to do his hair <laughs> oh wow and the inside the lining of the coat again all these details but it's a shadow all over it it's like all these like subtle little details you got to keep your eyes peeled out for because you just never expect it 
but it's always so fun to notice it on these dolls. Okay, here we go. The jacket's a little funny. <laughs> I mean, with the, the four different tails, but it's cute. I like it. Oh God, okay, I never noticed this before either. His butt pockets have SH and it's like real embroidered with real working pockets. Are you kidding me now? MGA, like, ugh, they outdo it with these dolls. I just do wish, like, they got a little bit more love. I mean, I'm, they do get a lot of love from, like, the, the general public, but it's, like, I don't know. I feel like there's been a lot of, like, hate re recently for Rainbow and Shadow High, uh, and I think it more has to do with, like, the fact that people aren't liking the new products that have leaked so far. And I get that, like, you know, I just hope that the the brand doesn't lose its shine i think that's the thing i think a lot of people want that as well they want the brand to really stay on top of things but i also think people are kind of overwhelmed and i know i have been with like how many releases have happened in the past few years that it's like you know it's a lot it's a lot to keep up with i hate the hands on the boys like i can't even put the phone in the hand really but yeah he's gonna hold his laptop for now but there's Rex McQueen. And then finally we have Monique Verbena. Verbena. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm also tired, sorry. <laughs> Let's open her up though. And of course she's a fashion design major. Wow. This doll, like the details are insane. I'm just snipping away some flyaway. She's another one that I think I'll just put out on display. And I won't need to do much because her hair is already styled and... I'm kind of gagged by her more than I like expected. Okay, I'll put the doll down. Let's get into the accessories first. In the corner here of her, I just wish it wasn't where the accessories were, but yeah, that artwork is really cute. Ah, I can't believe I'm finishing the series two of Shadow High. It feels like a long time coming. It's been almost six months since these dolls came out and I'm just happy to finally like have them all. But looking at Monique, I said I'd go through the accessories first, right? Anyways, we're going to go with the doll first. <laughs> but her hair is just gorgeous. Like, she has, like, these braids in it. And they're all, like, very multicolored. There's, like, blues and dark purples and all different shades of purples and blues in here. And I love this mix that they did. And I love the way the hair feels. And it feels very different from like GCDS Sasha. Like she had like all the braids in her hair, but it was more like micro braids where these are slightly bigger. They're like micro braids, but bigger, if that makes sense. And the hair feels just like so soft and like nicely laid down. I really love her hair and it's like fun to just like I love this and I love how like high they are like there's like the huge like wrap around here like it's just so so good her face and like her makeup is just absolutely gorgeous I love the glitter I love her I love purple so like <laughs> this is amazing her earrings are so interesting they look kind of like flowers of some sort I'm not sure but the outfit itself like insane like insane like, all of these ruffles, all of the different layers, all of the different fabrics that they used. I'm really, really loving it. She has a belt, of course, and it's, like, a very, like, pearlescent plastic that they use. She has a necklace, which is, like, it looks like two dragons, I believe. I'm loving her. And then she also has, like, these shoes that are, like, super... I'm, like, how do they do that? And I love the backs of them. I love it when shoes have, like, that funky like heel on them it's like a fun shape and are these dragons i don't know it's something it looks like it could be like dragons or some sort of bug on her shoes but very very cool doll like definitely like a top tier like doll generally but also like in the shadow high oh these gloves i love these gloves hold up yeah Top tier doll. Top tier doll. Top tier shadow high doll. Very much like, I would say like a top doll for the brand. But these gloves are like a very, very dark purple. And then in black, there's like an SH like pleather emblem on them. Like, like these details are just like out of this world. Like literally out of this world. Like gorgeous, gorgeous doll. I'm like, how did I wait so long to buy this doll? 
but she also comes with one of those palettes that is like the mold recycled from the girls from Rainbow Vision. Of course, she goes with a hanger. They all come with these hangers, but they do kind of end up being useless because they don't have extra fashions anymore. But it's nice to see them, like, you know, have, like, cute little accessories here and there. She does have a lipstick that is purple, of course. And it comes in some cute casing. She also has, like, those prismatic-shaped makeup brushes. And then she has her phone, and it says that she's getting a call from Team Anti-Sparkle. Are there any other details? Not really. It looks like the time on the phone says 1030. So I don't know if I don't think that it's actually a reference to anything. But if it is, I mean, hey, we'll find out October 30th. But I doubt that's the case. I don't know why they would tease that that early. But then there's also this glitter like phone case with glitter reflex. And there's like a the dragon design on the back with some sparkles around it. Very, very cute. Really, really impressed with this doll. Really love her. Definitely like a top shadow high rainbow high doll for me like i'm amazed that they can do this for 25 dollars. like that sounds illegal <laughs> like what's mte doing like i think this is illegal as a joke though not really like for a doll with like such an intricate dress the construction of it is beautiful like absolutely beautiful i'm shook i am shook so moving on to the shadow high not the shadow high to the rainbow high side of the street we have olivia woods and she was one of the ones that i liked a lot from series five so i got kim already kim was definitely like my favorite design out of all of them but then i think olivia comes up next for me so we're gonna open her up she also has like those really cute illustrations i love this packaging design concept for Rainbow High and Shadow High. She comes with a lot of accessories and unlike the Shadow High dolls, the hangers are shown here rather than on the side. So it makes this part look a lot less like extra. Sorry, did I say a lot less extra? It looks more extra. I was like, I feel like I said something weird, but yeah, she comes with the hangers. They're in that very um olive green tone. The packaging for this is annoying. I just cut it open. So here's her sunglasses. These are really cool. I love the way that the the glass part is framed and shaped. On the arms, it says rainbow. She comes with a blow dryer, which also came with the girls from Rainbow Vision. Which band was that? The, I love their song, Sparks Fly. Anyways, you know, you know which ones I mean. My brain is kind of, I'm losing it. Am I losing it? <clears throat> I also have a headache. Don't mind me. Yeah, she comes with a cool little blow dryer. A little bit random, but I think they're really just trying to, like, up the accessory count with the dolls rather than, like, you know, everything else. She comes with, like, this cute green palette, and it, you know, it's a little makeup palette. It says Rainbow High on the front. It says Rainbow High this way, but not, like, this way, whereas I think the shadow one said it this way. So it's, like, upside down, I guess. More makeup brushes. We're just gonna have a makeup brush collection from the rainbow high and shadow high girls okay see like with the rainbow high brushes like the edges are more rounded out so am i losing it or am i i don't know i don't know this artwork is so cute i love when they like look to the sides or like look away it's just like yeah like i did that <laughs> i am that girl thank you all over the floor all over the floor she's a fashion design focus so that's not shocking another one down so here is olivia she's really really cute she was like one of my faves when i first saw them and again it's just that like that hair i hate that they do this to the hair why do they do so much to it but she has these cute little space buns up here and then i love these like different shades of green in her hair and her face is just absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous face. Love her makeup. Very, very beautiful doll. I feel like everything really complements her skin tone, which makes sense because it's like olive green with olive skin tone. Like, someone mentioned that, like, oh, she's wearing all olive. Like, she's just an olive doll. <laughs> and then her, like, edges are also painted, like, different shades of, like, that olive green. She has these gold hoops. One says R and one says H. And then here is, like, her full outfit. She has got to take out all those plastic pieces and this jacket is really really cool so it's like 
a green fabric but then the top of it is like layered with like this like uh, I don't like like decals almost kind of like pleather-ish decals I don't know how to describe that but it I, I really don't know how they even describe that in like the real world fashion when they do that but it has like this cute like monogram it's like hearts and stars and the RH logo and then the inside she has like this cute top and then there's like belt buckles on it that both say RH and then of course like the real pockets and then like cute like button accents like I'm really really loving this and let me just make sure there's no more okay no other details that are gonna surprise me but then she also has like the like arm I don't know how to describe those see I'm losing I'm losing like my thought process a little bit so I do apologize but it's like a cool brown color it's like the cuffs and it's like um to like tighten the cuffs I guess so yeah, very, very nice details. I love her nails. They're like very long and they're very olive green. And then her skirt is really cool and you can see the pockets kind of peeking out from underneath. And then she has like full fabric boots, which I love. They have like that same print as her jacket and they also have real working pockets. <sighs> always, They're always doing the most with these dolls. And then she has like that buckle here and then it says RH. And it's like real like metal plated. So, so cool. I'm really, really loving her. And she was definitely the, one of the ones I was like, I need to get her either first or second. And I did. And I'm glad I found her at the Macy's and Toys R Us and I got her on sale. It's always a fun way to get toys is uh, through a sale. But yeah, she's going to get a wash because um, we're getting rid of that crunch right there. So for the final doll, we have Aiden who has been in the show the entire time he was introduced in like the very first episode of Rainbow High in 2020 and now it's 2023 he finally has a doll and he is part of the A's but we'll get into that in just a moment all right he also comes with sunglasses I love that kind of like holographic iridescence that the shades have I love his laptop it says rainbow on it but it's not just like the Rainbow High logo it's like it looks so cool on the camera when the light shines in it like the way it says rainbow and it's like actually like a gradient rainbow but then on the screen of course we have the a's ainsley avery and aiden and they're all besties in the show and that's how we met them he comes with a can of sparkle hairspray and of course he does like how else do you think he keeps that hair shaped the way it is use a lot of hairspray as well so his cell phone it's like a cool silver like metallic silver but then on the phone it has avery's picture and it says avery queen with a heart and some people try to interpret that as that they're dating and i'm like no like he's the gay bestie and that's that's his hag but anyways there's a cute rainbow monogram like that dior print logo on the phone case and hangers of course for his non-existent second outfit and let me be clear, I don't care that he doesn't come with a second outfit. That artwork is just so cute. I love when they look away. Like, I feel like we never get that detailed doll artwork anymore. And seeing the characters in, like, different poses, like, doing different things. I love it. Plastic ties all over the floor. One day, I should just not pick up the plastic ties, leave them on the floor, and then put them in a pile. So that we can just see how many plastic ties we can get. And I, like, I get, like, sweaty sometimes when I sit. Again. And so sometimes, like, they'll stick to my skin, and I'm like, ugh, like, ugh. And I hate finding them around my room. It's, like, just gross. But here is Aiden, and I do think he's a cute doll, but I have a few things that I really just don't like about him. But his outfit is cute, and I kind of like the way that they went about doing his, like, jacket, because I feel like that was something that a lot of people thought would be different in the show. So for me, I was personally expecting like a PVC type plastic with the RH monogram, but it looks like they went for more of like a mesh fabric for him, which I do think translates really well. He has a basic white t-shirt that says rainbow with a safety pin on it. And he also has like a necklace moment here and it says RH. So those are pretty cute. He has like basic like shorts. They're kind of like a grayish blue type and he also has a belt buckle here. And then he also has a chain, which I do wish was a real chain. I don't like the plastic chain, but this is RH and it just goes along like 
the side of his waist. This piece is really well constructed though. I do like this and I like the iridescence to it. It's better than I had expected them to translate the design if I'm being honest. And then he has cool shoes and if you can see underneath there's that Dior print rainbow logo under it on his socks and then his shoes are like a clear kind of like a milky type of look to it and then it says rainbow on the sides here and it has real white laces. Very very cute. The doll's a little bit basic, honestly, and I do feel like they could have maybe given him, like, a better, better jewelry. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I do think his face is pretty cute. I just really dislike his hair, and I don't know, like, what prompted them to do this kind of hairstyle. I don't like the way it folds back here, and I kind of wish it just all went forward, and I'm sure I could probably restyle it that way. But in the artwork, it's like slicked back, and I'm almost like maybe they should have just slicked it all back or slicked it all forward. I don't know, but his hairstyle in the show is like extremely different. It's like kind of spiked up in different places, kind of like a messy look, but this here, it's a little bit like not I don't like it that much, and I don't like tinsel, of course, so seeing all of this tinsel, I don't know. I feel like there's, like, a tinsel quota at MGA, and they're like, how many dolls do we need to make with tinsel this year? And then they, like, put it on dolls. See, I'm already ripping out that tinsel because it's, it's annoying. But yeah, there's not a ton much else to say about this doll. I mean, is he worth it? Sure, but I'm glad I got him on sale because he comes with, it feels like a little bit less than all the other characters. And as cute as his design is, and I love his like hair, like the blend of the hair itself and not the tinsel looks really cute. But I don't know, for like what you're getting and for like the quality of it all, it's a little bit basic for that price point, especially compared to like a doll like Monique, who's like a dollar less than him. Like, I'm really impressed with her, and he just feels a little bit, like, off the mark to me. But I'm glad that he finally got a doll, and it looks like if you gave- you could give him earrings if you wanted to, or put the AirPods in him. Um, but the- at least his head is flocked, I guess, you know. He's, like, an undercut. I just kind of wish they did something different with his hair, because that's a little bit, like, off-putting to me. It just looks very weird. But yeah, that's it from me. I think- I'm glad I'm, like- catching up with everything but now I'm like RH is going in a very weird direction it seems this year and it seems like they're kind of scaling back in a lot of places and they're introducing less characters which I enjoy but I also feel like it's still like a lot of products and a very high high price points honestly so I'm interested in seeing what the future of Rainbow and Shadow High looks like and it looks like they might have a spin-off coming soon and it might be called Storywood fairy tales I'm not sure so maybe they're scaling back to make room for that but I guess we'll see what happens I'm interested in seeing the future of it but I'm also a little bit nervous because as much as I uh, you know I want them to scale back in certain areas I'm just hoping that the brand doesn't lose its shine because it's starting to feel like it might like be dulling out a little bit and that worries me but who knows what's going to happen. I guess we'll learn everything in time. Let me know in the comments what you think about the future of Rainbow High and Shadow High. I would like to hear other people's thoughts. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more doll content. And follow me on all socials at Lookin' Brats. Hold the G on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! I love her hair doing this. <laughs>